everyone in today's video we are going to check out early halloween decorations in kohl's ross marshall's and home goods i don't have high expectations since it is august but let's see if they have anything i'm sure most of you know i am indifferent with kohl's when they have clearance and blowout sales they are amazing especially with kohl's cash but when it's just full price or even like 30 percent off which is today's sale they are expensive so like these window clings how much do you think they are did you guess eight dollars because i bet you didn't that looks like it should be from the dollar tree this whole section i'm pretty sure you can get this spider web from the dollar tree but you can get it at kohl's for five dollars i feel like we should play a game where i have you guess the price of the item I'm about to flip around and then when i do it and you see the actual price point you could let me know how close or far out you were and just how ridiculously overpriced these items are okay so first up let's do this large skeleton um, how much would you pay for this? For me, I'd pay probably like $25 max, maybe 30. Would you pay $80? <laughs> but don't worry, everything's 30% off, which brings that skeleton to a cheap $56. All right, and the small one, $40. Holy moly. Let's move on to the pumpkin carving set. I'm pretty sure you can get something similar from the Dollar Tree, even five below, but nope, at Kohl's, $10. That's crazy. I wanna mention that Kohl's definitely did not have a lot of Halloween decorations out. I can't blame them again, it's August. I'm pretty sure one of the store associates was watching me and they just thought I was crazy recording Halloween stuff in summertime. But speaking of people watching me, um, you'll see by the time we get to Marshall's, there's going to be a story time. You're just, you're going to have to hold off because if anyone knows when it comes to me and kind of recording in the stores, I hit these stores up at open. So 9am, 10am, I'm trying to go during the weekday when there's no one in the store. I don't want to bother anyone. I don't want to inconvenience anyone, which is why later on I do the voiceovers at home. I give kudos to the vloggers that live stream. And I mentioned when I was going through my Halloween decorations, I was like, oh, like maybe I'll do live streams one day. I'm still debating about it, but the story time that we'll have in Marshalls and in Home Goods, you'll see. It's, it's like the big reason why I don't live stream and why I try to be polite when I vlog and record anytime people on around clearly i'm getting ahead of myself but yeah so my main goal going to these stores was hopefully finding some outdoor decorations i feel like inside my house is pretty legit but i don't know like items like this is this inside or outside and i feel like someone can just come on your lawn and literally pick this up and run away with it i feel like that's one of my irrational fears for some reason even though i'm in a gated community my neighbors are all nice like i have this irrational fear that any of my outdoor decorations unless it's like christmas lights or like something that no one wants I just, I envision it getting stolen for some reason. I don't know if that's because all the stuff you see on the news where people steal the blow up inflatables, they steal the 12 foot skeleton. Someone stole the 12 foot skeleton. How do you do that? But I always joke to my boyfriend and I'm like, we should just set up a huge Halloween display in our backyard. Obviously we won't, it'll drive our neighbors nuts. It'll drive our dogs nuts. I think we would be the only ones that would actually enjoy it. But if so facto, I plan on getting outdoor decorations. They will go out front. The lawn landscapers will just have to figure that part out. And yeah, I really did like this pie sign. I really like the pie planters. I'm gonna hold out obviously until maybe they're in clearance if it's worth it or not. And it's just such a shame. They make us wait until they're clearance items before we actually purchase. Why not just price these at reasonable cost? In comparison to everything else in Kohl's, I think these mugs were probably the most reasonably priced. $17, which I feel like maybe elsewhere, they'll probably be like 15, 14, maybe even $12 if it's like at Ross or something. But again, when comparing it to the other stuff in Kohl's, this would probably be your best bang for your buck. Whereas on the other hand, these placemats felt so cheap, but they were $10. They literally felt like dollar store quality. And it's such a shame because I love that spider web. I love the spider web. I love the black. I love the glitter. And I don't know why $10 for one placemat. If the quality's there, I get it. But when the quality's not there, make it make sense. And with that, we are jumping ship over to Ross. I will say from Kohl's, all I got was a snowflake necklace. It was $50 on clearance for $12, $13. I had Kohl's cash and I had a discount, so it cost me only $5. Kohl's Halloween selection was slim. I was a little more hopeful going into Ross. That is until I walked through the front doors and saw zero Halloween decorations. I had to walk to the back of the store just to see a couple of Halloween decorations. So they are still in the beginning phases. Ross usually has awesome selection to choose from at really great prices. So I do look forward to returning to this store in the future. So again, we're jumping ship, we are leaving Ross, and now we're going to enter Marshall's, where I'm going to begin my little story time. 
and I just want to reiterate I'm going to these stores at opening time so I'm at Marshall's I think around 10 a.m. The store's pretty much empty and even though there's not so much Halloween decorations at Ross and Kohl's, Marshall's had a pretty decent selection. I say this because any store I go record in, I always am respectful of people's spaces. So I always go to an aisle that's empty, I go to an end cap that's empty, and I start recording there. However, during this trip to Marshall's, everywhere I went for some reason there was this elderly couple and they just they had to be where I was and I don't know I don't get it because there was a whole store it's not like they thought I was shoplifting they definitely were not interested in what I was recording what I was doing for some reason it was the wife because the husband was just there and he was just like to himself just kind of like you could just tell he was there to let his wife shop but for some reason everywhere I went like the wife felt like at that time she had to be there looking through the stuff too Eventually, I would just move on to the next place and lo and behold, she had to go to that exact same place, kind of like huffing and puffing to herself the whole time. I just ignore it because I'm not the one following her. Like I leave the space, I go somewhere new and she just happens to pop up again. So she's she's creating this drama in her own head and here I am just, doo -doo 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 -doo, just trying to make a YouTube video. So I just ignore it and I finished my shopping at Marshall's. Well, to give you guys kind of an idea of how this shopping center is, Ross, Marshalls, and Home Goods. Boom, boom, boom. You can walk to all three of them. So that's what I did. I went to Ross. Now I'm at Marshalls. Then we're going to go to Home Goods. And wouldn't you know who pops up there? This elderly couple again. And I kid you not, while I'm recording one of the shelves in Home Goods, this lady purposely walks in front of my recording and goes, adios mijo. You'll see later on in the video, I'll put like an arrow when she passes, but I'm still gonna keep the audio off, kinda out of respect for her, even though she didn't really have any respect for me. I just can't fathom what about me recording infuriated her so much when I never impeded on her space. I never did any of that. I was just living my best life. And for some reason she wasn't having it. She didn't like it. She doesn't like us young kids. And I say that as I'm in my thirties. So anyway, that's my story time. I'll let you know when she's about to pop up into the screen. The whole thing was just, it was so silly. But anyway, back to the main thing at hand, Halloween decorations. I love this pumpkin. I thought he was cute. $13 is not bad at all. Um, I saw the stitch pumpkin and I was like, aren't there a bunch of people after this? And then once I saw it broke, I was like, oh yeah, that's why it's there. Honestly, I'm not sure why stitch was still out there with that amount of damage. I would assume that he would have been taken to the back, but guess not. Now, this right here is how you know the stores are not ready for Halloween just yet because normally they have racks on racks on racks of blankets and throws and pillows. And with just these two tiny displays of blankets, you know we have a lot more Halloween decorations to come. As a heads up, besides that snowflake necklace that I got from Kohl's, I didn't pick up any Halloween decorations this time around just because I am looking for specific things. Don't get me wrong, there was a ton of knickknacks that I thought was so cute and I would love to take if I had a bigger house, if I didn't already have so much stuff everywhere, but I really was just looking for fun outdoorsy stuff, possibly statement pieces for the walls, but I want something big, not something like the size of a sign that I can get from Dollar Tree. So that being said, now let's go check out Home Goods, which really did have a ton of cute knickknacks. I don't know why, but I'm loving all of this pumpkin on human body statues between the ones that we saw at Marshall's. This one's cute. I love that one holding the lollipop. It's also worth noting some of the absolutely bizarre decorations that Home Goods had, like that bug-eyed vampire dish. I don't get it. I'm sure someone loves it. And also, I thought this guy was great, but holy moly, his head is heavy. I can see that lasting for maybe about a week or two before that thing falls off because that spring was not strong enough. Continuing on, another thing I thought was pretty nifty is this old camera and it actually lights up. So I'm assuming that whole flash probably just like flickers on and off, but one handed, I didn't, I didn't get to turn it on. I just thought that was unique. I haven't seen anything like that before. Same with the snow globe. What a cute typewriter. I feel like last year, Home Goods definitely had a bunch of snow globes, water globes, you know, vampires, skeletons, bats. But this year, I think that was the only snow globe I saw so far. See, and this is where I keep seeing these pumpkin guys and I'm like, man, if you guys were built better, you guys would definitely be coming home. Here's another one. He is so stinking cute. I don't know who invented these, but I love them. 10 out of 10. And onto a really creepy looking pumpkin with a very human face. I'm sure that's for someone. 
Um, at this point in the video, I will note that our friend is going to be running by the camera. So let's look out for the arrow. And in three, two, one, here she goes. <laughs> Bye friend. <laughs> you just have to laugh at some things in life. People, people are so silly sometimes. This section I think is considered outdoor display. Otherwise these are huge for indoors. Um, let me know what you think. Are these for outside or inside? I'm sure the tags probably would have said it, but when I look at these, I'm like, I don't know, you guys look too nice to be outside. I do know that this giant fella is definitely an outdoor decoration though. I wonder if they have more of him in the back and then if you actually want to purchase him, maybe you have to let an associate know and they bring him in a box in a back because I can't imagine just purchasing that display and before you know it, you're shoving, I think he was eight foot. I don't think he was a 12 foot. I think he was an eight foot skeleton, but you'd still be shoving him in the back of your car <laughs> and his little skeleton legs and feet would be hanging out, I'm sure. One thing I definitely noticed with the Halloween vibe this year is I feel like skulls is definitely in. I feel like there was a ton more skulls this year, clearly, than previous years. Don't get me wrong, I love skulls. I'm all for skulls, but I think when it comes to Halloween, I'm definitely more of a pumpkin type decoration over skulls. Um, and that being said, if you're going to collect skulls, would you do traditional, these pastels, gold? What's your vibe? Um, pastels, not my thing. I do like pastels, not mixed with skulls. I don't like that pretty horror stuff. That's just not my vibe. And it's funny because I say that and then I see this dapper skeleton and I'm like, this guy's awesome. I don't know what makes him different, but I love it. I think it's his expression too, along with that top hat. These pumpkins are stunning. I love the color of them. I love the shape of them. There's so much variety and I'm pretty sure some of these are blown glass, which is amazing to me how they get them to be that way. I'm sure it's all done by machine somehow or another but I'll show you my favorite one. It's one, this one, hands down. I love a traditional looking pumpkin. Um, sorry about my finger, but it's that stem and the curly coming down from it. It just reminds me of candy. I just think it's so well done. And they had it in a variety of different colors with that same style of twisty stem. So pretty. And next, let's move on to some placemats. Look at that, $12.99. I think that's for, yeah, a set of four. Imagine that, Kohl's. And these ones, the quality felt so much better. Even these pumpkins one, how stinking cute. $15 for this set. And again, completely worth it in my opinion. All right, next we're moving on to some drinkware. I was actually looking to see if they had any Halloween champagne flutes because I would love one. That would be so spooky and just overall amazing. They didn't though, but they did have, I'm gonna call these juice glasses, glassware set, Nightmare Before Christmas, Hocus Pocus. I feel like they come out with, I don't wanna say the same ones because it might be a little different every year, but basically it's the same gist. They always kind of have these sets of glassware. If this haunted house design was on a champagne flute, I would definitely buy it, especially for five bucks. For any Mickey and Minnie fans, these were adorable. I like them. Not for me, but I like them for other people. <laughs> this pumpkin apron gets a 10 out of 10 for me. I just love the whole style of it. However, I don't think I've worn an apron in my whole life. I'm just one of those people, if I cook or if I bake, I really don't care if food gets on my clothes. I don't care. If any of you watching this wear an apron, let me know. I just need to know there's people out there who actually wear aprons. So overall, if I had to rank the stores, I definitely think Home Goods is where it's at right now, and then Marshalls, then Ross, and then obviously Kohl's last, no offense. I still have to make my trip to the Dollar Tree. That's for another video and another time. It'll definitely be a bit before I get to visit these stores again, which that's bad news, but the good news is by the time I get to come back, that means they're gonna have a ton of Halloween decorations, so I can't wait to see what they get in stock. I'll actually be out of state for a bit. I'm going to Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania just for a couple of things, but while I'm in Michigan, there's a botanical gardens there and I think an arboretum as well, so I will make videos while I'm there because I like plants, I like flowers, I love being outdoors, and in Florida right now, it is too hot, so I cannot wait to make the most of that trip. And I think you'll enjoy it too. Well, all right guys, as always, I appreciate you hanging out with me. If you want, feel free to like and subscribe, and until next time, bye friends.